Welcome back. We just did some interior painting, so we've got to do cove base today. And cove base is pretty easy to install. It's kind of a, like a rubbery, like trim that you'd put on. You see it in offices and like retail stores, stuff like that. We need to get trim base back on. We tore it off to paint. We got it at Menards at the big box store. 120 feet for 80 bucks. So that's about 67 cents plus tax per foot. About as cheap as you can get putting something looks really nice. Since our colors are all black gray and dark red we always do black trim everywhere and it's easy I'll show you how to install it it's not rocket science and you don't have to buy 120 feet it's just obviously cheaper the more you buy and it seems like once you get putting it on the wall you really mow through it it's not the fastest thing to put on but by the time you put wood trim or something on, you gotta fill the holes, paint. This is just one and done. Make sure your area is prepped. It's cleaned off along here so the trim goes right down on the floor. And make sure your cove base is room temperature. It's easier to work with when it's relatively warm. And here's a list of stuff you're going to need to do it. Wall base adhesive. Pretty good stuff. And you go through a lot of tubes of that. I never buy enough. And make sure you have a DeWalt tape measure. And these things are awesome. Check this out. Ta-da! It spreads it out evenly so that your code base will stick to the wall. And a caulk gun and a carpenter square or some sort of straight edge so you can cut this. And a knife with good blades. And I'll change blades several times just doing one project. There's the snipper. I never use that on uh, cove base though. So I want a big wide mouth on there. That's what I'm talking about have a good blade on there which that one is not besides used too I guess these are new let's try that again facing down. It's a really cool tool. And actually, they're three bucks a piece, but they pay for themselves because you're not wasting uh, adhesive and putting it where you don't need it. This stuff's heavy. Those rolls are heavy. You can always buy the four foot sections too. What I do is take a rough measurement, go bigger, and I call it 72. And then I'm going to cut off at 72.
So there's my straight edge. Doesn't have to be right on the money. Because we're cutting a little fatter than we need. Since I didn't get a straight cut using one hand, that's okay. I got the factory cut edge here, and then we'll trim the other edge once we get our markings. So flip it over. And I like to keep it lower rather than higher because when you start smoothing it out and squeezing it against the wall it might squeeze out the top of your cove base there it comes and you hold this thing at about a 45 degree angle Go most of the way, three quarters, and then quit. Do so you hear that bubble push out of there? You'll hear it kind of pop, pop, pop as you're moving your hand along. Push down on it. Push your bubbles out. Smear that adhesive in there. Then when you get down to the end of your piece, see that mark? Then we'll take our straight edge. Now this cut has to be perfect. See our mark? And that'll basically just snap right off. Then it should be perfect. Dry fit it first. See how we got, we're a little wide at the top. If it's enough that it's noticeable, just shave a little bit off of here, then it'll all go flush. See, now that's perfect. Put adhesive on your last quarter. And then back the pressure off your cock gun. So the adhesive's not oozing while you're doing other things. And you'll want to go over it three or four times back and forth on the piece you just applied. And done. On to the next piece.
Perfect. So we don't need any cuts here on this one. And I ran out of glue. And there's no seal in here or anything. You don't have to puncture this with a nail. Well, I would encourage you to try this. You cannot screw it up. It looks really nice when it's finished. Squeeze those bubbles out. Make sure every inch is getting covered with glue and adhering. Well, you get the idea. Thanks for watching. We sure appreciate it. Leave comments if you have questions or anything for cleanup. It's important that this gets wrapped because it'll dry up on you. Wrap it pretty well in a plastic bag, garbage bag, something. Because if air gets to it, it'll get dry and crusty in a hurry if you have to come back to your project. And I'll wrap this couple three times if it does dry up on you like I said they're cheap you can get another one and I always take it I always have a spare anyway in case I snap one or break it or something if it dries up on you take a knife and just chip those openings open thanks for watching